Dan Ullman, Mike Beer of the feature race at Aqueduct on Sundays. The $100,000 Biagio's Rose Stakes. Phillies and Mares, New York Breads going a one-turn mile. Let's take a look at this field. The seven newly minted, eight to five on the morning line for trainer Linda Rice. When she's good, she's really good. And I guess she kind of had excuses for her two losses, Mike. Yes, yeah, she did. She had excuses both two and three back, I thought. Um, and she was back on track last time when she got the trip that she wants. Let's take a look at the time form U.S. pace projector for this race. Newly minted's game is speed. She can win from just off the pace if someone else wants it, like the three out of orbit. And to be honest with you, I think the three out of orbit is going to go and make the front in here. I believe Jose Lascano will be very happy tracking that one from the two path. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. I think newly minted will be fine tracking the pace. And it does feel like out of orbit, sort of a one way kind of horse. She wants to be on the lead. Horse that's going to be coming from off the pace is the number one, Mrs. Orb. This horse has been in tremendous form for a red hot trainer in Mike Maselli. She has won four consecutive races, including this effort in the Bay Ridge Stakes. She's on the outside in the red cap, and she's going to just wear down out of orbit and then hold off the closer Lucky Move. And that's notable because Lucky Move then came back to run second in the open ladies handicap with an 82 buyer. I kind of was waiting. Waiting for Mrs. Orb to stretch out to a mile and an eighth. She handled it very nicely, but she can handle a one-turn mile as well, as long as you give her a fair pace. Yeah, it's true. I mean, the figures, if you just go strictly by figures, Dan, she probably has to take a step forward to win this race. But just based on the races she's been running, I, I don't even think you want to concern yourself too much with that. She gets good trips. You know, it's notable that she won that Bay Ridge last time, too, because she didn't break that well from the gate, but she got herself into position and still won I mean, there's just a lot to like about her, and it feels like she's going to be a fair price again. Two starts back, the number two hour Supernova earned a graded stakes placing in the go for wand handicap, and she really didn't have much of a chance the way that race was run. She broke very well, but she just allowed Spice Perfection, the class of the race and the favorite, to control a dawdling pace while our Supernova was just hung out there three wide. She ran well, and she was bet down to odds on in the Bay Ridge because of that race. My opinion is that she wanted no part of a mile and an eighth, and she's going to really appreciate turning back to a mile. Yeah, it's a big excuse for her last time because she just really looked like a horse who didn't want to go that far. Once again, broke very alertly from the start, but they wanted to raid her. They put her in behind. You saw in that replay we just showed you with Miss Orb winning, she was right in behind um, down to mid stretch, and she just didn't see out the distance and got tired at the end. The cutback really works for her, and her form was great before that last race. Out of orbit, a stakes winner at Saratoga over the summer. We saw her finish a tiring third in the Bay Ridge, but that was her first start in over two months. Maybe she needed the race. And while she did win that Saratoga do it a mile and an eighth, like our Supernova, I think she's slightly more effective at slightly shorter distances. Boy, I agree with that. I was actually surprised that she was able to win the Saratoga Duke because I didn't think she wanted to go that far, but she got the right trip up on the pace there and, and got it done. I do think the, the turn back works for her. I just wonder if she's quite as good as some of the other horses. And I think this might be a little bit of a tough spot for her. I've always been a fan of the veteran number four, no hain, no gain. She is a stakes winner at Finger Lakes. And every time you kind of run her in the optional claiming ranks, she seems to do very well. She just hasn't proven herself to be a stakes horse on this circuit. She's coming off a nice win, going a one-turn mile against open optional non-winners or two other than, but that race was in slow time, and I thought she had the right trip. She did. She had all the best of it last time, and she got it done, um, you know, with the right trip in the right kind of spot. These races are tough for her, Dan. She's got a race or two that would give her a look in this race, but it does feel like she might be in just a little bit tough here. Espresso shot the number five is at the scene of her two stakes victories, the East View and the Busher, one in 2018, one in 2019. She, again, was completely compromised in the go for one by the lack of pace in that race, and she was overmatched from a class standpoint as well. I wonder if blinkers is just what the doctor ordered for a very sharp trainer in Jorge Abreu. We see this horse working down at Palm Meadows, bullet on January the 12th. I'm going to assume she's been working in the blinks yeah me too it'll be interesting to see what she does here because after she went back to back in the east view and the busher they tried a tough spot for her her form over the summer last year just didn't really stay on she did not run well um in the bowery when no match for newly minted didn't run well in the new york oaks as a very heavy favorite but since they brought her back 
I think she has excuses for both her races, Dan. She had no chance in the New York Stallion Series um, trying to make an early run into that race, and she was, I mean, just terribly compromised last time. She's better than she looks on paper. The six is more mischief, and Chad Brown has really taken his time with this $350,000 daughter of Into Mischief. Her most recent race was her first race in almost three months, and she did very well, as you see by this replay. She's on the outside right now, just about to take over the lead, and once she makes the front, she doesn't stop. She looks like a big, robust filly, and this 80 buyer speed figure, Mike, I thought represented a breakthrough, and I wonder if it's coincidence that it was her first round outing maybe she's been waiting to go a mile at least yeah she, she's pretty good she's actually been pretty good from day one too um her form may not look that great when you just look at it on paper but she's had some excuses along the way and has run some really nice races and obviously took a big step forward last time this is a tougher spot dan i'm not so sure she won't be up for it. she's pretty good Newly minted is five for eight lifetime, three for four at Aqueduct. She was beaten in the Empire Distaff. She fell past the wire, maybe some heat exhaustion. Two starts back, they turned her back to six. She didn't break at all. This time she broke. She got to the front. She controlled the race, and she just wins. It doesn't get any easier than this. 85 buyer speed figure against inferior competition. From simply a figure standpoint, she's consistent, and it's quite possible we still have yet to see her best. She's the horse to beat. Yeah, that's how I looked at her, too. I mean, she you laid out the excuses for the races two and three back. Um, back on track in this race right here. I realize it wasn't the strongest field in the world, but that's how you want him to win. She took that control of that race basically right from the start and never gave that field a chance. I mean, she's been really good right from the start, Dan. It's nice to see her back in form. If the pace melts down, held accountable is going to be running late, as she did in the Empire Distaff last time out. Now, this race was back in October, Mike. She fell far behind early, and the pace was fast, but she comes with a good run to finish third. She does. I mean, this is her. She wants to sit it out and just sort of rally at the end of the race. Um, that's our Supernova, who's also rallying in this race. She's down on the rail right now, is going to finish a very close second. Obviously, our Supernova ran the better race in here, but Held Accountable is going to be a very big price in this race. Let's take a look at our top selection for the Biagio's Rose Stakes. Just think Newly Minted is going to get the right trip, and if she runs her usual fig, she's going to be dangerous. But we both think that Espresso Shot the Five is an overlay at 12 to 1 on the morning line. She has obviously run races good enough, and the blinkers might produce the wake up that is necessary. Yeah, I, I feel like I maybe chickened out a little bit by not putting Espresso Shot on top in this race. I really respect Newly Minted. She's going to be a short price. Um, I'll go with her as my top pick. I'm very interested to see what the five does. Me too. 7521 for Mike, 7568 for me. The $100,000 Biagio's Rose. The feature at Aqueduct on Sunday. It has an approximate post time of 425 Eastern. Best of luck.